I think mine's pretty good, but when, whenever I get around you, I get let's afraid. Let's practice. Let's have play a game of accents. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw something out there to you. Oh, you're killing me. Uh, and, and we'll do this. We'll do something like um, <laughs> you're an Australian. Oh wow! Sheep farmer, and you've just lost one of your prized right merino sheeps and and um you think so one of my that, one of my your ex-girlfriend stole it all right so i find out that my see i just go british when i'm around you I get out i get scared um scared was perfect scared scared Here's was the like the best australian right. scared ever so you got me scared <laughs> <laughs> you got me scared mate. it's my sheep oh, i lost my flock it pissed off my flock is just one sheep a flock? Well, no, just one sheep. So not your my pri- flock. Your prized sheep. Um, I can't do it. I'm too scared. I'm too scared to, to be... But when you leave, I'll be like, Oh, right on, you might get this fucking guy. Was a good chip and whatever. And that I'll was just, perfect. Yeah, right. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> <laughs> you um, see, I like me <coughs> All right, good. Um... Lots going on. Let, let's... There, we have a lot to... We have a lot to talk about. We do. Wait. Are we? Have we started? Is this it? This is yeah. This is this is what just. Do into you it. do you need something more? I need an. I just say and action. We're on. No, then because then we, then I freeze up. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. No action call. Um. All right. Just just uh, uh just you, just give me the nod. Last time I froze up is when you, in the middle of a conversation, switched to an American accent. And I didn't know what to do, <laughs> and I just froze. And Mel's like, "That's so mean." I'm like, "No, I." It was like I just. Like, did. Who is this <laughs> who is... guy that I've known for yeah, years now? Just, How long like, have we yeah. known each other for now? It's, it's got to be like, I would say like seven years, eight, seven or eight. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. Th- I, I actually think so. I would. I would say so. So. Um, you're one of don't my ever, old, don't ever say I'm one of your oldest friends my, in well, the United States. Wait, what happened? You're one of my oldest friends in the United States. I've known you that, for a long time. That wouldn't. It doesn't make me feel better considering that I am older than you. You know what I'm saying? It feels a bit ageist. <laughs> I'm gonna meet to you on on the grounds of of ageism. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Mm. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, mate. That's a tasty beverage. So, this is almost like, I almost got, I was almost in a situation like, if, like if I got watching, if I got caught watching porn, because you can't, you, I heard the gate open, I heard you come up here, but I was in my office, mm-hmm. because I was just like, I wanted, I wanted to see if there was anything that I could, that would pop up that you were, that you had done recently that I did, didn't know about, uh-huh, because, I'm uh-huh. a bad, because I'm a bad friend. So you, wait, you were, you were IMDBing me? No. Worse, I was watching an interview of you on <laughs> Entertainment I Tonight. Up, no, 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 no. As you, as you, as you, as you, as I watched you cross here, it's like if you just walked in my house and you heard your own voice, it'd be like, "All right, I'm just gonna, I'll, I'll see you later." <laughs> but that's how you know we're mates because we don't talk about work. We're like, "Hey, mate, how's the missus?" Great. I was, yeah, yeah, I was yeah, thinking yeah, about. Yeah. I was thinking about that. Like, you know, like one of my friends is um, is Terry Hatcher, and she's gonna be on the show this podcast next month right now she's she's teenage boy big crush on terry hatcher oh every one of every age come on Lois and yes. Clark, come on but but i feel like like as a friend we just we never talk shop so on the podcast do i need to like go and freshen up or do we just kind of bullshit and so that's what kind of it, it's like he jesse saw me kind of standing here at one point and i was just kind of lost and thought like dan's coming He's been my friend. I'm his oldest friend. <laughs> I mean, I'm the oldest person he knows. Do I do I go and like just Google him real quick? You know. So anyway, um, but so I didn't well, know. It's a podcast, that, you can just ask, and we can <laughs> we can get that's there. The, but here's the here's the beauty of this podcast. Up until now, everyone that's been on it, except for one person, was has been a friend, like a good like a good friend. Yeah. And the only person that wasn't a friend. Who I now consider a friend. Everyone who's, everyone who's been on this podcast is a friend, because um, you talked to him for an hour. Is Luke Null, and Luke was a cast member on Saturday Night Live for one season, uh-huh. and then he got canned. And when he came on, I was like, "Are you willing to talk about that?" And he's like, Brr, and the whole story came out, and it's a pretty amazing story. 
he just kind of talks about all the inner workings and politics, and it was amazing. So, I, gotta li- I gotta listen to it. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, yes, the on a professional level, you you got killed off on when calls the heart years ago. Years ago. H- how many years ago? Six. F- I think five. five. They've d- they're they're doing season ten now. I left at the end of season. Uh, oh, the show's five. still on. S- show's still on. Um, Kept going. And so you you. Re- Turned in sort of a, a special or something, as that character, as that character, but yeah. not as the show, but in more of a movie. Yeah, it was it was a spinoff. It's a spinoff, and then Lori Loughlin he went and did a few episodes for that, and she oh, okay, had a, good. she had like a, a vision of this uh, of this guy. So I just came back for one scene, but um, Man. oh really, one scene? Oh, just one got scene. It. Okay, one got it. One scene. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I didn't come back. Uh, yeah, didn't come back, but. Uh, I'm happy to talk about. Have we talked about that? I'm happy to talk about that. No, you know you what's want. funny. So, you know what popped in my brain is, <clears throat> and I don't. And this, I don't get political, um, but and I don't think that this is political. But I'm glad that Lori is is back and doing her thing. I think. I think for her quote crime, it it the whole thing just was like it's completely out of control, out of control. Named three other people that were in that group yeah right exactly exactly you don't know because right. they make an example of people that are celebrity or famous or whatever look and just try er- to dra- everyone I mean- everyone you know makes mistakes um the level of her involvement is they know right, right? they 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 you know dealt with it right and moved past it and i look at that and the the uh, publicity surrounding it right. for, I mean, international right. publicity, uh, and it's really weird when it's someone that you know so well and you know their character and you know what kind of human being they are, right. how giving right. and just lovely and above board in every area of life, and certainly not only my experience but anyone that's ever dealt with her professionally or with her kids. You know, she's just a sound human being. Yeah. And then, you know, this this thing comes up. Sorry. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> We're outside. Keep, keep going. <laughs> keep walking, buddy. <laughs> uh, by the way, it, this is episode 10. I think that's the first time someone has walked by talking. Planes? We haven't even had a plane yet. Usually it's like this constant airplanes and helicopters and all kinds of stuff. All right. Stuff. Well, so there yeah. you go. we got people today. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so where was I? Yeah. Anyway, uh, you know, it... She it, she survived it and she's base, basically back. Yeah, I, right, I, right. I, I I would say absolutely, you know, and she's you know uh, I don't looking know. forward and doing uh, doing a whole bunch of other uh, great work. I don't know any other celebrity. Uh, I'm, I'm going to put myself into this. I'm doing air quotes. Celebrity who's ever tried to get something because of their notoriety, or I'll say this one yet. Yeah. I've never known anyone who's a celebrity that has tried to help someone that they love by using their celebrity. I'm being sarcastic. It's like it's like ridiculous. Anyway, that's just I, I I'm 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 happy. No, I'm 100. Yeah. percent Yeah. Look, 100. percent And that's the way this industry works, yeah. and that's the way the world works. And look, sometimes you get mixed up with people that are selling, you know, a bill of goods that just don't turn out to be. Mm-hmm above board and, and sometimes you don't know sometimes you're ignorant to it especially if you're figuring out that for the very first time for yeah. whatever, whatever it is you know so yeah. certainly with me when I came over to the States and, and when you start making money doing you know and uh, and people come up and say hey listen you know you've worked on this show for a long time they, they pay you well or you've done this or you've done that uh, we're looking for investors for this project and this and that. I've had so many people try I, and I sell imagine. me yeah. something that, uh, not not including, for example, people that I know that have a good product or something like that, but 
just random, was that, strange. Was that protecting <laughs> because I didn't invest. In my- <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, I was like, hey man, I got these things to invest. I feel because you didn't invest yet. in my apparel. Oh uh, no, I, no, I didn't. <laughs> by I'm the just, way, I, but only because I, 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 I had. I, by the I'd way, found a couple of other things, I, and I didn't. I was, you know, I had my ca- cash, whatever. You just put in a hundred bucks. Fucking hell, man. I mean, now I feel <laughs> oh, really so bad. Amazing. I'm gonna stop talking about this. But anyway, <laughs> you were just like you caught yourself, and I, you started. I know. As soon as I started talking. I'm like, but not you, bro. You know. Oh man. Okay. I'm sorry. That's just so amazing. Because um, yes. I was like, wait. Is but this, no. For, I call, like, <laughs> for so example, I, I've had this guy come up to me, <laughs> and he's like, I want you to invest, man. And I'm like, okay, what are we investing in? And he was a owner of a, a big company. I won't say which one. Yeah. And and I was interested. And he's like, no, no, no. It's not with the company. It's into my family trust. I'm like, do you want me to give your family trust money for what? And he's like. I'm going to invest it, you know, where I want. And I'm like, you want to invest with my money? You know, like people come up and What's say... his name, Bernie Madoff? I won't say his name, yeah. you know, but... <laughs> yeah. uh, Shyster, I'm like, yeah. come on. Like, you know, that's obviously a very obvious and transparent uh-huh. example of someone like that. But, yeah. Yeah, I got a Why are we talking? We're talking about... We're, we're, this, this is it. We're taking... Is, we're, taking we're, we're, just, we're going down the rabbit hole. Yeah, we're going down the rabbit hole. I have a buddy that I talked to today who... Um, Played in the NFL and had two very big contracts. What would you say if it was like six, seven, seven, eight figures? I guess you'd say um, a lot of money. And that's yeah. a public thing. As soon as he got that, he's just like, oh man, ha- he, he just hide. He's just constantly, and to this day, come out of the woodwork. Yeah, man. I mean, he he he's been out of the league for a few years, and he's still just like, just you know, whatever. Yeah. It's funny, I I have so many people, we have 1,500 investors in the apparel brand, which was Adventure, which is now Pleplius, which is this mug. So you you, you drinking. (laughs) Thanks. It's really good. I wish I invested in it. (laughs) Oh, God. Mm. All right, so. (laughs) This this tastes better out of this mug, too. It it would taste better if you had a bit of this. I know. I earned this much of it. Oh, my God. That's amazing. Um, I saw something. I, I think we've talked about this as friends, but I don't think we've ever talked about this because you've done my podcast at least three times. You did the Crafts and Crafts one where we made giant um I th- Yeah, three or Valentine's. four times we've spoken. This might be the third or fourth time. Yeah. Anytime, uh, look, you know, we've talked. Yeah. Anytime I start a, a new podcast, I have you on it. Well, um, I, I can't say no to you, my friend. <laughs> there, you, there, you go, there you go. Well, you did once <laughs> as an investor. <laughs> As an investor, <laughs> what a dick! <laughs> no, they, I'm the dick. No, you're I'm not. I'm the dick. No, I mean, could've, maybe you could be. You could have just put. I would like. You no, just two hundred. Doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> I think this is hilarious. I um um, your your short the answers, um, it changed my opinion on why people should do shorts. People are always trying to do shorts and like to show like to to make a film. And then I would always say, like, why are you making a short? Like, there's no market for shorts. You can use it, as you did, to tee up a bigger project, show your capability, show your range of certain things. But um, for you, I mean, so you, but you made the answers, and it, it. I watched it, and, like, like I cried. How long is it? Seven minutes? Seven and a half minutes, yeah. I watched it, and I was like... I yeah, had to watch yeah. it again, and I was like so affected by it. It's it's just it's so incredibly well done. I, I talk about that every time you come on my my show, and you do. anyone who I wants appreciate to watch, it, brother. Well, I, I I just you and Mike Mike Good, you guys just made something amazing. Yeah. And anyone who wants to watch it, just go to just go to YouTube and type, type in, in the, the answers, answers. Yeah. and you'll watch it and you'll get it. Yeah. But there's there's one comment that I think that you've seen. I don't know if you've seen the comments, but. I, I don't know if it's something that I posted about it and they she posted on my podcast or if she posted it on your thing, but she she's like uh, basically turned off because there was a swear word in it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got a lot of that. A lot of that? A lot, yeah, yeah. Be- because it's people that are coming from Hallmark and they want to watch your stuff and now they're like, I can't believe his foul mouth. I mean, it's a, this is a right. show about, this is a, sh- a, a, a short about you dying. You can't he- swear? But yeah, you can die, that's yeah. okay. Look, you know, art art is um <laughs> it covers a huge spectrum of um, you know, genres and uh, I mean 
what do you say about that? I mean, the, the, the umbrella is so huge. And, you know, you, you develop fans in um, some of the projects. Mm -hmm. uh, I wouldn't call that particularly art, but it was certainly a formulaic uh, television show that had... And pretty much, you know, I, I've, I've done some some family-friendly content before. I do Christmas movies every mm -hmm. once in a while. And uh, there is an audience for that. And some of the audience for that, when following my career find that hey this is surprising this is not really in my wheelhouse of what i want to be watching yeah but get surprised when they know me from something that's quite conservative yeah. to actually what i want to be doing which is not at all right uh and, and that can be jarring for some people you know to to make a big deal of it is ridiculous but just don't watch it i mean <laughs> if you I, don't like I it mean, that, but you 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 can you can yeah. and should and should say that to everything I, we would there was something we were watching the other day that people were going off on and just like just change the channel just turn it off why do you feel the need to Comment on it, yeah. Comment on yeah, it. Everyone's got a platform now to, to do it, though. Everyone's got a platform and, to... And the anonymity of, of hiding behind that, too. You don't know who someone is. And, and someone can just be saying something to be mean. They can say something because they're sad, which I usually think that that's where that, that kind of stuff comes from. But, yeah. yeah, I mean... Yeah, dude. I mean, look, you know, that that's getting down a whole uh, other uh, rabbit hole of, like, social media <laughs> and, uh, and people wanting to feel heard or feeling whatever they feel in their life and having yeah. that platform there to, yeah. you know, get a reaction to say, all right, I'm part of something, you know, but you never have that looking face to face or looking in someone's eyes, you know, because when you, I, I find anyway, like, you know, I've dealt with a whole bunch of, we all have, you know, a whole bunch of bullshit online with social media stuff and whatever. But I find that 99.999% of the people right. that you encounter and you look in their eyes and you talk to them and you see their humanity, they might be an ass online and they might have their own thing going on where they have this platform to vent on, but guaranteed, they're just looking for a connection, yeah. really. And, and most people, when you get down to it, really just want the same kind of things at the end of the day. It's yeah. to feel loved and... And give love and be heard and you know all that kind of good stuff that we all have commonality in but we got caught up in like these trivial um talking points or political things or you know this is my opinion whatever blah 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 mm -hmm. we spend too much time on that and, and we forget the important general stuff that really um connects us all yeah because i like to think that i this is the thing everyone's afraid I'm to alienate yeah people that might talk to them and listen to them yeah right and and you get a reaction look if I say uh, I'm a Democrat or I'm a Republican and then you worry about how that other person that is watching this that group might feel about you yeah this is the problem we can't have a normal conversation with each other anymore without the fear of offending someone or getting backed up into our corners we have to talk about it I think we have to be able to uh, and I, uh, you know, I'm an American citizen now. I've been here for 10 years. I had my green card for a long time. I became an American citizen. I voted in the 2020 election. I will be voting in the midterms coming up as uh -huh. well. You know, I'm, I'm proud of that right. And everyone has the right to believe what they want to believe and vote the way they want to vote to. But I don't think we've got the right to bash anyone else or bring anyone else down for what they believe that's not what america is about yeah what america is about is listening to each other and finding a conversation that elevates us you know and i think we really kind of lost our way uh with a lot of the rhetoric out there from both sides you know yeah i mean look look on both sides it's just it's it's just it's just too much but it's always how it is it's it's always that's just polit politicians politics is your people that are are seeking to be in a position of of influence and power and you can't it's it's really tough they you know some people some people might have gotten in it for the right reasons but to stay in it you you have to give up a little bit of your soul and you know I, I, there's there's two sides and and it's and and the catch is is like i have to choose these guys or these guys i might 
be more aligned to these guys, but I'm not entirely aligned to you guys, but I'm not, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and that's that's sort of the, the, the issue with like the... Two-party system, yeah. The two-party system, yeah. Yeah, dude. You should run. You should start the, you know, the centrist... I would just do it um, for the wrong reasons. Yeah, power and money. <laughs> power and money. That's the right <laughs> reasons, apparently, <laughs> if you're that, close. That's it. <laughs> then that means I would do well. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. you do very well. Just lie to everyone. Um, you, you could the highest office I believe you could hold would be governor. You couldn't run for president, but you obviously can. Run I, for I can. Governor. I can. I could be a senator. I could be a congressman. I could be a governor. Yeah, yeah. I laugh because that's never going to happen. But it's not something that I'm particularly passionate I about. If but Ronald Reagan thought that. I wonder when he started to get political. Was Zelensky, huh? <laughs> What's that? Well, he was an actor before. Did you see Zelensky? You know, president of the Ukraine. Oh, uh, he was also an actor. He played the president of Ukraine in a half an hour comedy show for five years and then ran for office and became the president of Why Ukraine. do I not know this? It is genius. Check it out. That's amazing. And he used to be in a comedy boy band doing ridiculous dances. My friend, you have to see. Yes. Did you, see, did you know that? Yeah. Oh, shit, Vlad really? Vlad <laughs> okay. Vladimir yeah. Vladimir D- 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 Zelensky. And, and he's proving to be um, an incredible... Uh, leader and beacon of hope and, yeah. and resilience uh, for the Ukrainian people during this time. But man, when he started, you know, look, it just goes to show that's amazing that that as humans, we I apologize have many to anyone who who like everyone who kn- knows that that I didn't know that. That's check weird. it out. Yeah, 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 yeah it's yeah, it's, okay. it's, uh, it's a good laugh. But also goes to show that like, look, you know, we all have many facets to us, all many sides to us, and yeah. you know, it might be known for one certain thing, but. God, we all of us right. have a huge spectrum of like, you know, you know what makes me laugh all the time, and this is going back to the social media thing, is that you know if you comment, let's talk about politics or this or that or whatever, and they're like, you're an actor, just stick to your lane, you know, like you know, don't comment on things you don't know about. Right. And then I think, hang on a second. Well, doctors, they can only talk about surgery then. Right, right, right. And lawyers, they can only talk about the law. Right. And teachers only teach talk about... T- it's ridiculous. Yeah. So it gets just me think... It, it just gets me thinking that, you know, we go, we got to ease up a little bit and, and realize that, God, there's we got a huge spectrum of... Um, it's not going to get any better. It's not going to get better. You know something that affected me? It's not going to get better on the road that we're on right at this second, especially with... Did, yeah. Did you see um, this? I, I'm kind of optimistic, though, dude. I, I will say that. I, I believe that. So you don't think that what we're heading for a nuclear Armageddon? You can't think that way. Otherwise, no. You I, live I, your day. I actually, I don't. Um, I don't. Uh, but I. What do I know uh, in, about you know what is in Vladimir Putin's mind right now? But saying that, um, I'm optimistic about the future for sure. And we got to remember that, you know, things were a lot worse 100 years ago, 50 years ago. Mm -hmm. Things are getting better. We have our problems, for sure. But in general, and throughout history, we're moving forward as a species, you know? Yeah, we are, with with an extraordinary uh, pace. Um, Not to pull too much of a line from... The Matrix, but we're we're moving at the pace of a virus, um, eating up every natural resource in our way, and not worrying about about the the effect. Yeah, so and I know how you're passionate about the planet and animals and our food yeah. sources. You are, I am as well. I just uh, is that wondered, something you talk about much? No, I've never on my podcast. I've never talked about it. You and and on, on 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 platforms, I don't. I don't really. I saw this. Um, you have a platform, dude. I, I I would encourage you not today. No, we're gonna keep. We're gonna turn no, the subject. Appar- to, apparently, we're not. Um, I just <laughs> I just wrote up the one sheet of the podcast to send out to have other guests on, and it says non political. I just have to cross that part off. Just say <laughs> fun and off book. Um, the uh, Shatner went up to space. Are you aware of this? Yeah. Okay. Well, I knew who was going. I didn't know. He, yeah. He, so, he's done so, it. So yeah. he went. And you can watch on one of these platforms, whether it's Amazon or Hulu or something like that, you can watch the half hour special about it. Mm-hmm. And he goes up there and he just starts to cry. And he's just kind of overwhelmed. And in the moment, he just says he's overwhelmed and, um, you know, it's so beautiful and everything like that. He lands and 
everyone who meets him just like says, oh, you had such an effect on me as a kid that you can just kind of tell he's just like, okay, can everyone just stop saying that to me? Mm. Um, I was supposed to go to this, this dinner with um, um, Gene, Gene Wilder. Um, yes. Yeah, I mean. And, and so, you know, I'll tell you that story. I, I mean, I'll come back to that. Okay. Because um, it's, it's a good one. But the um, Shatner just kind of, I will say, came, came clean. It's not that he was hiding anything. But he was like, you know, like I, I didn't want to say it in the moment because I felt like it was an amazing honor and experience. And, you know, he's probably the oldest guy to go in space. And he's, yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, and obviously he is the inspiration for a lot of people. But he said that he was filled with utter sadness and he couldn't control it. He's like, I just saw a planet that had so much potential and we're devouring it and we're destroying it. And he's like, and he's like, I feel bad for the planet. You know, he's like, it's not for the people, it's the planet. It's the rest of it, you know? Yeah, look. People you know, complain about the coyotes walking around this neighborhood encroaching on a, what, what do you mean? How are the coyotes encroaching? Yeah. They they were here first. What are you talking about? This used to be like these used to be hills. You know, it. I don't. It's like how can you get mad at them? But yeah. people are just. I mean, the fucking neighborhood app. Oh my lord. Yeah. Are you on it? No. Okay. Is Nadia on it? No. No. Okay. Yeah, Mel's on it. <laughs> <laughs> and she was talking to me something about something. I'm like. This is what happened. So we were we t- were taking a walk this morning, and she sees somebody that like is listing a house that was like inappropriate or whatever. And she get I'm like, why are you on that? She's like, I get an alert whenever the it, an animal is mentioned or something, whatever. That's that's what the neighborhood app is. It it's, tells you about animals. N- no, it's or, or just no, anything it's in the just every neighbor is on it complaining about something. Every single neighbor is on it. She showed me. Uh, there's a guy like two streets over who I've just met because he had a dog. No one's down there going, hi, how are you guys? No, today? it was a beautiful was, sunny day. He Enjoy. Was comp- <laughs> they, they're trying to get it so that people slow down on our streets, and they've been putting these uh-huh. signs that say, slow down, you know, children to play, whatever. And he was ranting about it, saying, aren't we like, are we done with this yet? Like, let's get these out of the way. Like, we, people need to get places. And, like, and it's like, he's like, you know, I just had a newborn, so I'm a father, and I know what it's like. Like, no, you don't. Shut up. Stop it. So anyway... Mm-hmm. Last year, she showed it to me, and someone put on the app, they said, did anybody lose a lobster? And showed a picture of a crayfish walking in the middle of an alley. And it was a legit thing, they're like, I don't know whose it is, and then- And like, it was alive. It was alive. And, and, I, and I see this, and first of all, it wasn't a lobster, it was a freshwater crayfish, but I'm like, what in the hell is it doing? It must have escaped from some kid's aquarium or whatever it is. Maybe. But there, I know the alley, and the alley goes for five blocks. And wow. if the person would have just said where it was, like Mel and I hopped out, and we drove the car over there, and we walked up the alley looking in every corner. It, it's five blocks. It's a lot of, lot of nooks and crannies the whole way. And we see this other guy doing the same thing. I'm like, are you looking for the, the lobster? He's like, yeah, I've been looking for <laughs> half an hour. Like, and the person won't respond. Like, where was it? I will save it. Let me just take it and put it in a tank or just yep. something. But like, did anybody lose a lobster? Like, what in the world? Yeah. It, it, that's the yeah. weirdest thing. We're in that Southern a, California, yeah. And someone thinks it's okay to be like, did someone lose a lot? I, 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 you can't, you can't even make it up. Like, I was thinking, mm-hmm. is that like, I can't put that on my stand up because no one's gonna believe it. <laughs> so <laughs> stupid. So anyway, I'm off the neighborhood app. If, if I need some highlights or some entertainment, I'll ask Mel what happened. Otherwise, what, it's just everyone complaining about everybody else every day. Every day. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a voice. Oh, I might have to check it out. Although, <laughs> you know, it is some good comedy. Oh like, my god! Uh, oh man, look, did you, uh, no. Well, no, because you'll, you'll be tempted. You, you'll get it. You'll get in there mm. under a pseudonym. Yeah, exactly. Oh my lord! Oh uh, well, mate. So, I um, uh, the last time I saw you was at my show in Hollywood. Hollywood. My stand-up. It was great, man. I did the special for it. I haven't seen you. You've been gone so long. Uh, no, so that many... was that was. It's, only, it's pretty much been a year, almost a year. No, dude. Well, it was last December. It was December like third or something. Was it really? Yeah. Yeah. I promise planes. And I wonder where. They're every going. time I take off, I get a window seat because I always want to take a picture of Mel. <laughs> Or of my house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm always like, I'm taking off. Just go out and wave. She's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> not even like, 
Really? Do I have to? She says, no. Or she's like, or she says, okay. This, this is coming from uh, Burbank. Burbank. Yeah. yeah. They are always on it. That's it. So um, they're called uh, Victors. Uh-huh. Uh, Victors are, are uh, highways in the sky. It's all mapped out. You, you have to go a specific way. You can't just take off and go sure. willy-nilly. And so they follow this this mm-hmm. path. And I've, I take off there <clears throat> oh, once every two weeks to go on tour. Right. And it always flies so much over my house that I can never take a picture. Yeah, exactly. It's you always directly angle. over it. Exactly. Yeah. I got you, man. So even on a bank or anything like that. Yeah. Um, oh, so anyway, so after that show I in Hollywood, I went and did the last show of the year on December 18th in San Diego and did my whole show. Was a little tired. Sometimes I am. I'm doing back to back to back shows. Like I just got off a trip where I just did 16 shows in 17 days, which yeah. might be made me a mistake. And I uh, just because I got so worn, worn down. But I did the show in San Diego. Sold out show. Big brewery. I think it was Green Flash Brewing. And again, I took a red, had a Red Bull, a beer. I was in it, whatever. And then did the whole show. I went back to, uh, to my green room and sat down and I was like, I was hit so hard with something and I just, there was nowhere to lay down. Usually I have a couch and so there was a, some cardboard boxes and I just laid on top of the cardboard boxes you, and laid you, down. You were feeling sick? And I, yeah, then I started to shiver and yeah. uncontrollably and I came home and tested positive for COVID yeah, and man. then that was, was on the like, first time you had it? That was the first time I had it. Yeah, dude. And then Mel yeah. was like, stay in that room. I'll put food outside your door. I'm having no contact with you. And then that was like the 20, she got 20th. It. Nope. She go, she was. She, she avoided it? She avoided me and, and it. She still hasn't gotten it. Wow. Good. Technically, oh. she may have. We just didn't know. Right, right, right. But I'm kind of convinced everyone's had it. But um, then she's like, um, like, you have to been there. been there. I think at the time it was like 10 days. And so she's like, or maybe seven, but I think it was like 10. She, yeah. She's like, you're in there till Christmas. I'm going to go to my sister's. Bye. <laughs> so she left. She went up, <laughs> up to San Francisco to her sister's. And, I'm, and you're just feeling terrible, locked in a room, no one around. No one around, but here's the thing. After about four days, for three days, I was like, three, 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 four days, I was like, just, I think I slept 20 hours a day. I felt so bad. Yeah, then right. I started to feel better. I'm like, oh, I'm better. She's like, I don't care. I'm going to my sister's. Bye. And so at least I was able mm. to have the run of the house. Yeah, man. So I wasn't just locked up. I love my she, alone time. She went up, yeah. I don't get it. I watched. These days, but. You haven't gotten COVID? No, no, no. I don't get my alone time. I have gotten COVID. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I actually had it for the very, very first time. You know, I'm vaccinated. I'm boosted. Yeah. But I did get it. And it knocked me for six I was out for like two days just like mumbling to myself yeah Nadia had it first like I think we went to New York a couple of months back that'll do it that'll do it uh, wait so when did you get it like two months ago for the first time the, en- the end of my story is I just sat home on Christmas by myself and watched uh, Dan Dan Listen Christmas movies well what a brilliant way it's like I- I'm surprised I didn't get it I phone felt call. that you were there no it, like again it felt like felt creepy because no. I watch them like that is the least creepy thing you've ever said to me. I watch them ten times in a row. <laughs> <laughs> creepy in the dark. <laughs> hey Dan, I'm watching hey, you right now. Hey Dan, I'm watching you. Yeah. Don't, does it matter what I'm wearing? <laughs> uh, so you, <coughs> excuse me. Now look, I got it again. Mm-hmm. So you, you got it. How long ago? Two months ago. Oh wow! First time, yeah. And you still got your ass kicked because I guess the the recent variants have been like more. I don't. I don't know, mate. You know, I. I it's different for everyone. I was boosted months ago. Like, I mean, by the time we yeah. had it, it was last November or something. We had our boosters. Yeah. Or October. I can't even remember. But, you know, a lot of time goes by and then you kind of starting from scratch again, I imagine. Yeah, yeah I probably need to. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we can count planes. Um, yeah. But, uh, you know, for two days, really sick. But the worst part was just feeling like low and tired for yeah. like two or three weeks after after yeah right yeah and then and then we had to and then we went away again we felt good for like two days my wife and I mm-hmm. Nadia you know I just say yeah. my wife and Nadia right now. Uh, Nadia <laughs> you yes. know, come on Nadia um, and she was ha- having a 30th birthday so we went back to New York for a few days 
flew to Dubai and then went to to an island for uh, for ten days to celebrate her. It was the first kind of real holiday. Yeah. That that we've had without you know without is this was this the, a honeymoon kind of no no it wasn't really you, you a had you had one yeah I guess we sort of went to Japan and Bali and yeah. back to Australia to visit the family but this was certainly the first time where it was just I mean we did nothing yeah we, there was no obligations there was no one to see we were just kind of we ended up on this island and we were just that's a loud one yeah that's a big one. Um, yeah, but it was beautiful, and we uh, we got very healthy, felt great, and uh, you know now uh, now we're we're all good. But we did. I mean, I ate, and ate's fine, you know. But I drank a lot. Did you did for you, from for three weeks? For th- I mean, yeah. Did you? It was, it was did you? Brilliant. Did you put on weight? Kind of, yeah. I, th- I think I did. I think I, I sort of lost. Yeah, I, I kind of just got skinny fat. Oh. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Like my arms got yeah. really skinny, and oh my, my legs God. got skinny, yeah. and my, my you know my chest and belly, you know. Dad bod. Oh wow! You know that kind yeah. of thing. Yeah, it was hot. I um, <laughs> I even had this this I talk about it in my stand up that I got up to and this is. I was in Atlanta on this last run, and my aunt came to the show, and she's like, I know. I know what's true and what's not true. I'm like, oh, yeah, what is it that you think is not not true? It's stand-up. There's some exaggerations, but everything's based in reality, and sometimes, you know, you, whatever. It's, it's artistic license. But I was like, what do you think wasn't true? She's like, you said that you got up to 220 pounds. I'm like, no, that, that was true. She's like, I know it wasn't. I'm like, I'm standing here in your kitchen <laughs> telling you that it was. Yeah, it's and she's true. like, it wasn't. I'm like, no, it, it was. Yeah. That was like during COVID. And I was like putting on weight, and then I kind of was like, "Oh, let's see where I can get." Because I had a, I have a buddy who's a trainer, and he's he's been on my podcast, and he's um, Cross, he, CrossFit. Well, no, not really. I mean, this I, is not the guy that I met. The other Dan, no, no, but no. but Dan has a gym. Dan Dan Wells. So that's he, right. That's he owns, yeah, and he's a CrossFit competitor, like a Got master's you. competitor. Got you. But but my friend Josh um, trained a lot of guys. Um, and actually did stunts, but he 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 trained a bunch of actors. Like he can't talk about who because he's just not supposed to. But like, mm-hmm. but like um, a bunch of the actors on like Avatar. He actually went down there to do that and get people in shape. Oh, awesome. You know whatever. Yeah. So he came back. He's like, look, I'm good at that. I'm yeah. good at I'm good at kind of. This is him speaking and me me putting words in his mouth. But he's good at. Um, uh, figuring out what someone's hurdle is and ha- walking them through it. Because I have a lot of friends who are trainers mm. and he's just kind of like, all right, let's let, let's do this. Let's sit down and kind of talk through. And we had a talk and it was like, it was an honest talk that I've never really had before. He's like, what are you trying to do? And I said, honestly, man, I want to, I'm less concerned with being in shape and more concerned with looking in shape. And that's not, and because I kind of feel if I look like I'm in the shape that I want to be in, I'll be close to being in the cardiovascular shape. You know what I mean? Like, I, I understand. I, I don't I, need, I, I'm not looking to like be a CrossFit competitor. A lot of people at my gym right, are. Right, right. But you want to feel good. Right? But, what, but I want to feel good, but. Because you can, you can look good and still have done it the wrong way and be holding injuries. You know, this is and, just like, do you know what you burpees know. are? fucking hate burpees yeah yes i do burpees and well i go here's the deal i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it i'm in yeah. and mm-hmm. and he was kind of he used mel and i to sort of help him build build this plan and stuff like that and and, and, and we paid him but like um <laughs> but 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 a good rate I could be a trainer what's that 20 burpees give me yeah 20 burpees. give me another 20 yeah and you know what i say to you no because <laughs> I said, look, here's the deal. We're going to do it. But I'm doing no burpees, and I'm doing no wall balls, and I'm doing no... Wait, uh, wall balls, you know? These, no, 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 no. Wall balls are you, you stand against the wall, uh, you and squat, then you squat, and, then, yeah. and you have to throw it, gotcha. hit a target, catch it, and then as you're falling down and squat again, so, just brutal. Like, you can be my trainer, but just, I'm not doing this. Yeah, I'm these. not doing that. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I will, yeah. I, there's got to be another way. Why? Because they're not fun, and I'm just not going to do it. Dude. And I'm 50. 
and I don't need to. I've okay. looked. So you could, you feel like you could get in shape without doing those things? You can. Yeah, I want to show you something. Yes, I do. Uh -huh. um, and because there's other things that I'll Shoot, do. Man, I, I have a trainer now, and and if I I, th I feel like if I said that to him, he'd laugh at me and say, "Get the fuck out." St stand up for yourself. Um, I'll I'll show you this. Look at this guy. Man. Yeah. You are fit. That's it. And I and, and this Good is work. and and, I, and I'm better now than I even was here. And I yeah. And so I don't need to like like I walk like five or six miles a day. I, I burn through my calories like that. That's yeah, that's great, mate. Yeah. And and I I go into the gym and I do my stuff. I love mm. to do like weights and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. But I hate to think I I I don't want to like. That's how people in my mind, especially when you get to a certain age, that's how you get hurt is when you're dropping down and doing 10 burpees and 10 things and just kind of stretching your ligaments and kind of going a little crazy. So I'm not doing CrossFit anymore. I'm, I'm still working out at my, at my friend's gym, but I'm doing different stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, yeah, I, I hear you. Did you work out with your trainer today? Or you worked on your own? No. You said like, you were a trainer. Yeah, literally like half an hour before, yeah, before I arrived yeah. here. Yeah, you went. I had a shower at the gym. Yeah. I put on my jeans and my jacket. Yeah. Well, I'm assuming I, that you put this particular outfit on. This particular outfit yeah. I did put on. Yes. Yeah, I, I literally came from the gym, and that was the f maybe the first weight session. I've been doing some boxing and playing tennis. Got and it. Well, so, but it's with a trainer. Uh, that was with a trainer. Yeah. Okay. And what? And and so he has a program. Yeah. Do you have a, Do you have a program when you're on your off days too? When you're not with him, or do you only work out with him? I, I work out with him. I, I work out with. I do a few different things. I like variety. Yeah. Right. So I, I, I look. You know, I, I need mobility because I got lower back problems. Got right. It. So I just always have. Yeah. Had. See. So you should not be doing burpees and wall well, balls. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. But I didn't know I could say I'm not doing those. <laughs> I'm just like, hang on. Yeah. Uh, uh. Yeah. When I was doing actual CrossFit. <laughs> like when I was your age, when I was in the gym doing CrossFit, yeah. forty through forty-five or whatever, yeah. And they sometimes you'd have to pair up with somebody, and I was doing um, deadlifts, ten deadlifts for time, meaning as quickly as I can. I had two reds on each side, so that's fifty-five, fifty-five. That's one ten. That's two twenty plus the bar. That's two, two fifty-five. For ten reps, as fast as you can, as fast as you can, ridiculous. It's yeah, and for and, me anyway, saying right, that. But so the people that have trained to get up to that, fine. But no, m normally, for me. like yeah, I would be at a different, I'd be at a lower weight because I'm, I'm like, all right, I can do it. I'll, I'll match up with this guy. And this guy was 10, 12 years younger than me. Yeah, and I did it, and I threw him back out. Of course, I threw him back out. You got like I, I, I could, I could probably do those ten if I just did them at my own pace. Yeah, and so that's how I'm doing now. I don't need to get into this like. I mean, honestly, the biggest change was just changing my diet. Dude, that, and, uh, <laughs> I, I, want, I want to say well, it's all the me. working I have, out that I do. I have it's, a massive sweet tooth. I love my pastas and pizzas and breads. I mean, s'more, man. I've you've never had a s'more. I have Maybe I had a bite of a s'more, but I know I, you're I trying to watch your beautiful figure. I have never, figure. ever made a s'more, ever. Okay. Oh, you've had it prepared for you? <laughs> you have you've had people who prepared your <laughs> and s'mores. And my people prefer, prepare the s'mores. Yeah. Uh, no, I've, I've never actually made a s'more. Are we are we doing this? Yeah. All right. Talk to I me. I forgot talk, about it. And then you mentioned sweet tooth. It's uh -huh. like this is a great. All right. Talk to me. All right, so we're this. marshmallow, chocolate. So this is not an Australian. No, thing? this is not an Australian thing. When you guys have a campfire, do you what do you do? We you have marsh marshmallows. You marshmallows. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that's that's sort of there. I'm, you know. The last time I went camping in Australia, I mean, man, we're talking, talking, twenty five, thirty years ago. I was a kid. <laughs> I'm serious. Here, here, we don't need to each open a bar then. So here, take, take a square okay. from that guy, okay. and then take your marshmallow. And I gotta go Be aware thing. of where your microphone is. Uh huh. And um, and then. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Take I, a stick. I see. I see what's going on here. What did we pierce the graham cracker? <laughs> you did not just... Did you just see that? No, it's for the marshmallow, not the graham cracker. Huh? It's for the marshmallow. Oh, that's for the marshmallow. Yeah. Oh, okay. God. All right, you got two... Okay. Oh, okay. I feel like I'm... Oh, I should have just given you my bag. Yeah, okay. No, no, no. We're good. And, then, and we're so good. what I do is happen. I... So, 
Yeah, look, let me let me be kind and not sit here and mock you and if and let me walk you through this experience. Mock so, the so mock away, brother. Here's what you have. Um you um you take I um, put the two graham crackers out and I put the Hershey bar on one of them. Okay, hang on. Here we go. Here we go. Mm -hmm. so, you so you're preparing it. Preparing it for the hot marshmallows yeah. to get it. Yeah, right, exactly. Gotcha. So put it that there. Bam. And then and a little bit of and then, two marshmallows. Yeah, yeah two because marshmallows? look. We're just two guys with two marshmallows. With two marshmallows each. And then here's the thing: this this fire has been going for a while, yeah. and it's hot. Technically, you need you want the coals, not the fire, because it's if you're if you're not careful, they're going to catch on fire. And, yeah, yeah. You and got, and the name of this right podcast is Lightly Toasted. Ah, I and see. and so technically, I should be. Lightly toasting them, but my marshmallow has caught fire in every single episode. Do you think that what we've talked about today is like really resonating with your audience, or should we just be telling each other like drinking stories? Um, I wonder. I hope you guys are enjoying this so far. If you made it this well, far. we kind of talked. And about, if you didn't, we, we we talked about it, and like in the past. So you know, Jesse is the, the the producer and edits and everything, and um, don't come on camera. He's hideous, <laughs> hideous. <laughs> Um, and he, so we talk about like the fact that it's it sh the conversation should just go where it goes. Good. And like I've always thought about like having the podcast have takeaway, and and I've created a different podcasts over the years where they were intended to have takeaway. Like I did a travel version, and it was supposed to be informative and stuff like that. But honestly, yeah, we we did that together, didn't we? we yeah, we probably did. We probably talked about Australia. I'm sure we did. Um. I think you probably came on to talk about Sydney. Yeah, so you would have been on that. You would have been on my crafts and craft, crafts and crafts, where well, we, we drank craft beer and made did arts and crafts. Yeah, um, we made Valentine's Day. Cards we made for Valentine's our wives, Day. Remember? Yes. And then was she your wife at the time? No, your fiance. But maybe you. Well, I can't even, remember when was it. Yeah, it was, it was before COVID. It was like 2019, end end of 2019, February. Oh, February mm -hmm. of 2020, January, February, right before COVID. Ah, okay. Yeah, we were married. Well, um, I'm a lot. Yeah. See, so you you have you have you carcinogenic. Have I mean, it's interesting because do we do we have guests on here and and I just kind of run through your career and and get people to know you professionally, or do we just have a conversation normally that's and get better. into whatever? Yeah, that's what we're doing. So so that's kind of what it's become. Um. Cool, you, know, you, you, you singed yours. I'm not going to say. I mean, it is technically burnt, but... I'll take that burnt part off. Now, I think most people just eat it. Yeah? You can remove it if you want. So, ah, oh, man. Hey, welcome to my world, man. Welcome to my world. It doesn't... Tell you, what, tell you now, it doesn't feel very good. Um, all right. Okay, well, let's talk about... you. you um, we were supposed to record this yesterday, but you had a big audition. We won't, I did. Today. Um, it was... Uh, is it one of those things where you... You say big, so I mean, obviously, I. Well, I'll tell you know what, you it, it's not for a is. big part. It's just for. A, a, I just love the part. Got it. Okay. You know, for, for this particular one, uh, it's shooting. Uh, it starts shooting next week in Los Angeles. Oh wow! And it's for an HBO sh Max show, and I just look. You know, every man and his dog is auditioning for this part, I believe. But it's okay. it's a really, really cool, cool character, yeah. and and I, I I really like this show. And is the time. The, the the show takes place is now, it's in set in the seventies. Oh, the seventies. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. interesting that I asked that question. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, oh, that's wicked. Yeah. Oh God. Wait, have you? You're really yeah, man. Yeah. Look at, uh, you, um, <laughs> this is this is how horrible a friend, or possibly how good of a friend I am. When calls the heart was that current? Was that set in today, today's time? Oh, that's so stupid. It's really old. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, I know. I've seen, I've seen, it, I tell I've seen you. it before. Wait, dude. It's wait, 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 like wait. set in 1910. It's set over 100 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, man. I mean, insane. Get with it. I, I by the way, I, I, I would sake. never expect you to watch it. It is not. No. It's not your bag I for has, sure. Uh, I've, I've watched but it. I watched it. Talk about someone that does their research. It's, I mean, I mean, we've talked about it for years. How current is it? No, it's it was no, it's dated a hundred no. years ago. I do remember it. Look, you're 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 a Mountie. You have a horse. We, I get it. I, I just yeah. Yeah. Anyway, okay. <laughs> I don't care because but, I was but just saying. Have tell you, you done? If, if there are fans of that show watching it, they'll be like, oh, Zane. Um, do you? 
Have you done uh, a bigger scale period uh, piece before? Period like, piece. Like, uh, like the seventies is a period. I suppose right? so, no, but not not really. You know, I I. That's so neat. I've done some. Um, I've done some like, I've been on much bigger uh, productions. Uh-huh. Uh You know, mate, I'm just kind of winging it out here with all like I'll kind of take what comes my way. Uh, yeah. So I've been lucky enough to to um, do a whole bunch of different things, really really small stuff, stuff I've created, like little short films for mates, all the way to big studio. Uh, I'm not trying to show off, but just I'm just showing you what this is what it's supposed to look like. Okay. Okay. And then you kind of slide it off like that. Oh, God. That's I, just... I see what you've done there. Okay. And then you bite into it. Okay. Um, yeah, mate. So, a lot of different kind of scale stuff, if mm-hmm. you know what I mean. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm not saying that the way that I do it is the way that it's supposed to be done. You know what I mean? No, I hear you, man. But I, I think you're going to develop your own s'mores style. And I'm... The, the, the thing I'm most happy about right now is derailing you from whatever um, dietary restrictions that you wanted to put yourself on today. Look, man, I'm 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 trying here, but it's uh, you can fall off. You can fall off today. Uh, I'm I'm actually uh, I can't talk about it too much, but uh, I, I did get offered a a part that is going to require me to look like you in that photo. Oh yeah, I gotta I gotta be. Uh, you got to be pretty fit for this thing, and uh, that's going to be... It's not until next year it shoots this thing, but... Um, really? Yeah, so I've got a lot of time to prepare, but... Is it a movie? Yeah, it's two movies. Wow. Yeah, could be fun. That's amazing. Well, we'll see. I mean, you know, until you're on set, uh-huh. and you're shooting, and mm-hmm. blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Um, you know, so it's all talk at the moment, and... Is it a period piece? It is not a period okay. piece. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm doing this thing, man. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. So put it down like mm-hmm. that. Oh, so kind of twist, your, twist the stick. I'll twist Actually, the stick. Hang twist on. it, twist your stick. Oh, shit. Man. Oh, my God. Okay, whoa. Like, twist, twist, this twist. This is how Australian makes a twist. <laughs> you can't even see it. <laughs> <laughs> there, there we go. How's yeah. that? Are we, are we make sure something? you get a bite with the chocolate in it. You might want to bite the, the shmallow first. Shmallow. I kind of want to... Cl- see, I want to clean the edges. I like clean yeah, edges. Clean, yeah, with, clean it with your mouth. I'm going to clean it with my mouth. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It could be considered that this show is just an excuse for me to mm-hmm. catch up with friends and have drinks mm-hmm. and eat s'mores, mm-hmm. not in the in the opposite order of the way that I just gave it. Uh huh. Like it's like an, an excuse for me to eat. I don't know. What the hell was that noise? Firework? Gunshot? Not gunshot. It was too basic. Gunshot's more of a. Could it just be one of my pop. neighbors dragging a trash can too? Could be that. Could be a backfire <laughs> of a car. Backfire of a car. Sounds, Sounds weird. A little more. We're in Los Angeles. Any, weird, anything could happen. Weird stuff. I saw a guy. I posted on my social media. Just I, mm. there's a hiking trail behind my house that I do as often as I I've, can. I've done it with you. Yeah. And there's a guy walking with a hairless cat on his shoulders. And by the oh, way, I saw that. You saw the picture. Yeah, you Instagrammed yeah, it. Yeah, I'm Instagram, and, and and the cat did not look happy. The cat was not happy to be there. Mm-hmm. And it's a hairless cat. You're not supposed to have them outside, even if it's overcast. You're not supposed to have them outside. They're so like delicate. Mm. Yeah, I, yes, I ate mine already. You finished all of yours. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna lie. This is so delicious. Oh, <laughs> this is really good. S'mores, everyone. Have you heard of s'mores? <laughs> they have. Wow. They have. Are you? Go- I'm not gonna lie. This is like, this is, just. Just right in my wheelhouse, man. <laughs> this is really like speaking to my soul right now. <laughs> All right. <laughs> no, I'm having a good time. This is great. This is well, kind of um, I haven't eaten anything after the gym either. So you kind of, you know, you have a drink and. Well, it's funny. I was in the exact same position. I went to the gym just slightly. When you said you were going to the gym, I had just gotten back from the gym. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I was like, um, I'm like, do I eat? I'm gonna have a s'mores. I mean, what's a s'more? I don't, there's, there has to be like negative protein in one of these things. You know mm. what I mean? Like I should have something, but oh yeah, this is definitely, definitely not good for you. No, 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 no. There's in not, any way. Yeah, yeah, no, there's nothing. There's no yeah. nutritional value. Yeah, but 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 but, but 
serotonin. Is there, is there a levels. smile on my face? Yeah. Yeah, there is a smile on your face. That, that, that is literally what yeah. I was going to say. You're, that like mm. it's arguable that you eating a s'more is like this I just good I added you. years to your life. Maybe you did. Maybe this is what life is about. Just feel good. When you go to Australia next time, yeah, is it which possible? Will be for my father's seventieth birthday in which February. Is this February. Yeah. Oh, in the summer. Summer. In the, in the in the summer of Australia. You um, guys should bloody. I'm trying. I'm trying to get you Mel to go. Have to. I'm trying you to get Mel to. to go to Australia in February. You should. I'll be there. I told her we could just like. Can't we just take ten days and just like drive around? I mean, yeah, on the wrong side of the road. Isn't that what you call it down there? The wrong side? <laughs> um, we call it, what is it here? Yeah, it's the left side of the road. It's the right side of the road here. It yeah. is the right, and yours is the wrong. Um, True story. <laughs> is your, your parents still live in Sydney? My uh, mother does. Okay. With her husband. And my father lives in Canberra, which is the capital of Australia. Where is that? That's about three hours, three and a half hours drive from Sydney. Southwest, so inland. South, got it. Yeah, inland. Inland, not on the coast. Yeah. Oh wow, I didn't realize. It's a cute town. I didn't realize that Australia had an inland. Ninety. The, let me say this: ninety-two percent of the population live on the coast. Within like a mile of the coast, probably. Well, within a hundred miles of the coast, let's say. Mm, well, gonna, let's say sixty miles of the coast. I'm going to say twenty. <laughs> I'm going to say twenty percent of the population population of Australia lives within twenty miles of the ocean. Yeah, that's pretty accurate, I'd say. Okay. <laughs> that's pretty, that's, that can work. We could look it up, but why bother worry, ourselves why bother? with accuracy? But we have a, a lot of space. A lot. Yeah. I mean, we're... Have you ever gone to the Outback? I've been to the bush. I haven't been to the Outback proper. So I've not been to the Northern Territory. I've not been... Oh, we, that's a lie. I, I've been to Darwin, which is the capital of the Northern Territory. Okay. But... But you haven't been to Ayers Rock, then? I've not been to Ayers Rock. I've not been to Western Australia. Oh wow! So okay. I've, I've never been to Western Australia, which is our biggest state. Okay. I mean, it's you know, is, is Perth there? Perth is there. Okay. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's massive. Uh, Australia is very comparable to the United States in regards to right. land size, but we have one fourteenth the population. So we have like twenty five million. You guys, we have here. Yeah. I say you guys. I think the population of California is bigger than the population it of is Australia. 30, that's nearly 40 million now in California, right? Yeah. 39 million? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And and 25 million in Australia in total. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to get her to go. We have uh, a, a holiday, a vacation that, like, we need. And from me f- flying and traveling around, I've racked up enough points to get us to wherever we want to go, including Australia. Business, you really should, mate. Business uh, class. You, I know. I'll, I'll, you yeah. really should. I mean... If you tell her that with that accent, she might just do it. Look, you know, I, I've, tra- you know, I've traveled the world. I've been to just about. I haven't been to Antarctica, but every continent. Yeah. On on planet Earth. Yeah. And I've been to I don't know, between eighty and hundred countries. You know. You've been to more life. countries than me. Yeah, probably. I've yeah. been to seventy-two. Yeah, I've been to. Uh, I can't. I don't know exactly how much. I've got to count again, but it's like. 80, 90, something oh, like that. Oh, I got some work to do. I don't like that. <laughs> um, but traveling, you know, there's nothing better ever than traveling. And it's just lent. To, b- to, bu- to building. Everywhere. That's fine. That's part of it. Mm-hmm. To just, I, I also think just building Sorry. character. What's happening? Oh, you're applauding the s'more. I'm applauding you for introducing you to s'more. Thank you. Dan, it's my pleasure. Thank you. Continue. Um, yeah, as far as broadening one's horizons and and growing as a person, I think travel, it's like education and travel. and It lends perspective, my friend, you know? Yeah, that's it right. It really does. Yep. Yeah. Especially with some of the crap that you've seen, and I know you have because I've seen it too, and some stuff I don't, like, I don't even like to talk about, you know, just like some pretty horrible stuff. Um, but... Um, but but a lot of beautiful stuff, and certainly has made me grow as a person and appreciate. And I, I feel bad for anyone who hasn't had the opportunity to travel. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I was thinking we'd fly into Sydney and just drive north. That's what you do. Yeah. Well, avoid Mike Goldman at all costs. 
You would be driving d- towards him. He's living. I know, in, I know, I know. But hopefully he'll be at your party, and I'll just be able to just sneak out. Yeah. When he arrives. <laughs> Mate. Yeah, he's great. I actually spoke to him the other day. Did you? Yeah. I had a good phone he, call with him I, I, not, I not too go, long ago. Yeah, I go back back and forth with him on. Yeah. That, that's the best way to stay in touch yeah. on social media or or WhatsApp is a really good way for me. You and I had a. I, I forget where I was, but you and I had a long phone call. I do a lot of my walks and catch up with people, and you and I had a long. Yeah. Phone call. I don't remember where I was, but yeah. We were talking. I was just walking. I can't remember exactly what we talked about, but I do remember it was a long <laughs> yeah. talk. Yeah, it, does, it doesn't matter, but that's the beauty of it. Yeah. That's, that's the it. beauty of it. We that, we, that we haven't seen each other in almost a year. We just picked back up. And that, by the way, is... It, that's ridiculous, but also you've been very busy, man. I've been a very busy man. But so. that's one of the cool things about having this podcast is it just gives us an excuse. The other the other opportunity is like we meet up for a drink and then, you know, shit can go sideways. But, but like... As it should, but like this is just like it's catching up, and people just kind of you know peer over, over our shoulders, mm. and we're relatively unguarded uh, with our conversations. I ha- I have it. We're, we're, It'd be really you, weird if we were super guarded with our conversations. No, it'd be weirder <laughs> if we were completely unguarded. Well, completely unguarded. Well, let's be completely unguarded. No. What are you no. afraid of? No, nothing. Are you afraid of what you're gonna say? No, I just well, <laughs> no, I just think that like. Like, there's some conversations you and I have offline. Oh, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you and I have talked about certain things that will... Not to say anything Okay, no, bad. I'm with you now. Yeah, okay. Yeah, totally. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm with you. Yeah, yeah, I thought, you know, we could just... You know, we don't have to censor ourselves with the topics that we're talking about. Yeah. But sure, we have to, like, you know, navigate it. Yeah. I, I have been this this guy. So, Nick, he's my opener. You saw him open. You've seen him. He was times. great. Yeah. Yeah. And he, he was, we were driving. And he's like, he's like, I don't, he's like, people should just be allowed to say whatever they want. I'm like, that's, that's not true. He's like, yeah, it is. Like, you, you can say anything you want. I'm not going to judge it. And I go, Nick, that's not possible. You, you, you know, whatever. And we brought up something the other, the other day. And he's like, what? That's ridiculous. I'm like, you, you're judging. It's like that's just human nature, and so if, yeah. as, as, as we sit and have a public conversation, mm. we are we're ninety five. It's not that we're inauthentic. There's no inauthentic, inauthenticity happening here. It's just that there's some things that we talk about off offline. It's called show business. <laughs> it is. It is. No, but it's that, true. But, that, but, that, it, it, but that's the beauty of the podcast is that it. That's it, right. It, it gives us an opportunity mm-hmm. to catch up, and it gets you over here, and then the cameras cut, and then. We're just like, dude, what really happened with you? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what's, what's the, uh, <laughs> no, it's true. Yeah. But, um, you know, I... Let's do that now. Okay. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Dan Lissing. Mm-hmm.